I managed to get my hands on the Samsung A32 Awesome Blue with 128 gigabytes. In this video, I'm going to show you six and a half tips, tricks, and hidden features that I found interesting. The first trick that I'm going to show you is how to adjust the font size. So you might want to do this because the current font might be too big or too small for your liking. To adjust the font, just go to settings. So just swipe from the top and then select this settings cock to open the settings. Once settings is open, just click on display and then scroll down and click on font size and style. Here, just move this blue dot to the left or to the right. Moving it to the left reduces the font size and moving it to the right increases the font size. I'm just going to increase mine by two. And as you can see, the change is immediate. The second tip that I'm going to show you is how to put the settings up on your home page. These tips and tricks requires us to go to settings often, so it makes sense to make settings easily accessible. To put settings on your home page, just swipe up to show all the apps and then search for settings. When it shows up, just click and hold it and then click on locate app. When the settings app is located, just click and hold it and then click on add to home. As you can see, it will be added to a new home page. Now you can just click it and then drag it to the first home page if that's what you want, or you can leave it in the new home page. The next tip that I'm going to show you is how to customize the power button. So if you double click the power button, you can open an app of your choosing. Right now, if I double click, it simply locks the phone. So to set it up, just click on settings and then scroll down to advanced features and then click on side key. When it opens up, just enable double press. By default, you see that it will open the camera. So if I go back and double tap the power button, you can see it opens the camera. But if you don't want it to open the camera, all you have to do is go back to settings, advanced features, and then side key. And then instead of quick launch camera, you can select open app, and then it will show you a list of the apps that are eligible. In this instance, I'll just want to open the calendar. So I'm gonna select the calendar here. And then when I close it and double tap the power button, you can see it opens the calendar. The fourth thing that I'm going to show you is how to customize the navigation bar. The navigation bar contains these buttons here at the bottom. That is the recent apps button, the home button, and the back button. So what you can actually do is have the recent apps button and the back button switched. To do that, just click on settings, scroll down and select display, and then scroll down until you see navigation bar. Select it, and then as you can see here, we've got button order. Here, we have the recent apps button on the left and the back button on the right. If I select the second option, I now have the back button on the left and the recent apps button on the right. We also have swipe gestures, which allow you to replace the navigation bar altogether. So if you hate buttons or are just looking for a minimalistic look, gestures might be an option for you. As you can see, you no longer have the navigation bar if you select swipe gestures. I prefer buttons, so I'm just gonna stick to buttons. The fifth tip that I'm going to show you is Duo Messenger. This feature has been around for a while and it basically allows you to make copies of apps that are eligible, for example, WhatsApp or Facebook. This means that you can now use two different accounts with one app. For example, in a chatting app like WhatsApp, you can now have a personal account and one for work on the same phone. To get to it, click on settings and then scroll down to advanced features. Once there, scroll down towards the bottom, that's where you'll find your messenger. Select it and then it will show you a list of apps that are eligible. For example, here I've got WhatsApp, Facebook, Skype, and Messenger. If I toggle on WhatsApp, it will ask for a confirmation to install the second copy of WhatsApp. If I click on install, it will install the second copy of WhatsApp, and then I can log into that with my second account. 
So this is how you use Joao Messenger. If your app is not here, then it means that it's not supported by Joao Messenger. The sixth tip and trick that I'm going to show you is how to prevent the screen from sleeping while you're using it. One way to stop it is to change your screen timeout time. But this is not an optimal solution as it can drain your battery by leaving your screen on for too long when you are not using it. The efficient way to do this is to go to settings, scroll down to advanced features and open it, and then select motion and gestures. Now what you want to do is to turn on keep screen on while viewing. This will keep your screen on while you are looking at it by using the front camera to detect your face. So as long as you are looking at the phone, it won't go to sleep. Now for the other tip, I'm going to show you how to mute with gestures as well as palm swipe to capture. So while you are still here, motions and gestures, just scroll down and you'll see mute with gestures as well as palm swipe to capture. They are both on by default and they basically allow you to do very cool things. For example, mute with gestures allows you to mute incoming calls and alarms by putting your hand on the screen or turning the phone face down. And palm swipe to capture allows you to use the edge of your hand to take a screenshot. For example, as you can see, it took a screenshot. Thanks for watching. Please like the video if you liked it and comment down below with your favorite tip, trick or hidden feature and I'll catch you in the next one.